Today I'm going to show you an example of an endangered animal PowerPoint that one of these students did last year. This is, as you know, your assessment task for while you're working at home and it can be a PowerPoint or a poster. We really miss you guys and we're looking forward to you coming back to school and I can't wait to see all of your amazing information, report posters and PowerPoints. Hey guys, so this is the first slide that this student has put together, William it was from last year, and it is his title slide. So as you, if you remember when I went through the assessment task, we set a nice big title, nice bold, bright font. You can see that colour stands out really well against the picture. That's something else if you are going to do a PowerPoint to be really careful of. If you choose the wrong colour, it makes the words really hard to read. The next slide here is the description or appearance, what your animal looks like. As you can see, this student's put in a couple of pictures and you can tell this is in their own words. The sentences aren't perfect, but that's okay, he's really tried hard. And I love it how he's tried to use colour to mirror the colour of the fur of the Tasmanian Devil. So he's written Tasmanian Devils have black with a white stripe across their chest, brownish, which is brown, or reddish fur. I love this sentence here. They also have a bone crushing bite. The next slide about habitat, which is one of the other areas that we want you to research. This is a really good example because William has talked about exactly where in the environment they live, which is scrublands, dens, hollow logs, under rocks, but then he's taken it out to what part of Australia. So we want you to do that as well. The actual type of environment they live in and then what part of Australia. If you can include a map showing where they are found, that's, that's awesome as well. Diet is another area that we want you to research. For the Tasmanian Devils, you can see that they're carnivores and they eat meat carry-on, which is other animals' dead bodies, which you can see in the picture. This is another little interesting fact that they're cannibals and they will eat each other. This is the life cycle. This is the really big science part of your assessment. So we want you to show us that you understand the life cycle of the animal that you choose. William's found an awesome picture online that he's popped into his slide. What I love here is that he has used the scientific language. The young, it, they are young, then they're called a joey, then a juvenile, which is like a teenager, and then the adult. He's also talked about <clears throat> the gestation period, which is how long they're in the mum's pouch which means they're a marsupial, just by the way. And after a year, he tells us, that's when they fend for themselves in the wild. Interesting facts, William's put lots in here in his PowerPoint. You only really need to put in one. Um, the one that stands out for me is that the quoll is part of the same animal family as the Tasmanian devil. This is the last little bit of information that you need to include in your poster or PowerPoint. It's about, it's why your animal has become endangered. Now, he's got the reasons in here, which is great, but I think what he could have done a little bit better is give me a little bit more information about that. So he's given me the reasons, but not really explained them or elaborated on them, if you understand what that word means. So feral cats have been attacking them, and they've been hit by cars when they're eating carry-on on the road. But the big thing that he hasn't talked about as much is the devil's facial tumour disease, which is a really, really big reason why they've become endangered. So if you choose the devil, I challenge you to look into that. That's pretty much all you need to put into your PowerPoint or poster. This has been a really fun assessment in the years past. It's a little bit different this year with you guys working from home, but I still think you'll do a fantastic job and you'll have a lot of fun doing it. And I can't wait to see all of your hard work. Thanks guys.